Hello everyone, this is Inglorious P back with another video today, and today I'm going to be discussing um, 14 cards that I told you to either buy or sell after week one of the NBA season. Um, so this is now week two, we're in the midst of it, or re really this is week three, right? I get it all confused. Um, and anyways, I'm going to review last week's videos and where we stand after a week um, of what I told you to buy and sell, and we'll see um, how right or wrong I was. Um, and we'll do this every week. Every Thursday, I plan to review the previous week's buy or sells, just so I could be 100% transparent with you guys, so that you guys can, you know, see that I'm legitimate, that I know what I'm talking about. Um, and so, before we get into it, you know, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and also in the description below, I'm going to have my star stock uh, referral code. I'm just getting into it. I hope to pass on more information to you guys, um, more I learn about it, different tips and tricks. Um, but I'm hoping if you guys can use my code, you get $10 uh, deposited into your account. Um, and so, yeah, and I'm hoping that if you could watch this video, maybe you go on star stock, buy some stuff, turn around, flip it, and we're, we're all happy, right? So um, let's get into this. So first off, OG Ananobi. Um, when I told you guys to buy him, um, you've made about $20 so far. Um, I still kind of stand by that, but I, I don't uh, blame you if you wanted to sell out right now. Um, you know, you, you made 20 bucks. maybe you could sell at a card show, maybe like the Dallas one coming up at the end of the month. But next up, Jarrett Allen. Um, so far, it's inconclusive. Um, really, he doesn't really have many sales. I, I think it's due to the low pop count. Maybe a lot of people holding on to him. Um, I... I it's inconclusive. I still think that he's a good buy, um, but you know, I, I don't think it's fair to say right or wrong so far. Um, but we are. I, I do kind of see inconclusives as a. It's not a bad thing because you haven't lost money, but it's also not a good thing because you're not moving money, right? It's all about moving money. Move fast. Can we get more sales? Buy it, sell it, move on. Let's make you know twenty, thirty, fifty, a hundred bucks every single day, and we can, before you know it, you're growing a huge collection. Um, Kevin Porter. So far, I've been wrong. Um, so far, his cards uh, really have been kind of fallen. Um, it's kind of, it, it's been really flat. He hasn't played, right? So there's not been much movement. I still expect a big jump when he starts to play, but um, so far, I'm wrong, right? So I, I told you guys the wrong time to buy. Um, so we'll see whenever uh, things turn around for his cards. Um, Darius Baisley, so far, I've been correct on that one. Um, you guys would notice that on... Most of the, uh, all of the cards that are his out there, really raw or graded, they've moved up. Um, people are really catching on to him. Um, you're running out of time. If you like Darius Baisley as a long-term prospect, you're running out of time because I still think that his cards are really only up from here. I mean, he's been playing really well. Um, he's a very good player. Next up, um, Sabonis, uh, Demontis Sabonis. I was right, and it, it spiked up to $400 for a base PSA 10 from $100. I said we're late, but we could still make money. Well, had you listened, you made another $200. Um, not bad at all. I mean, you've, you know, moved up your money, what, uh, 50%? No, something along there, something along those lines, right? 50%, um, which is good. I mean, you made $200. Let's say you bought one, you sold it. You made two hundred dollars after fees and everything. Probably one fifty. Let's just say to be reasonable, that's good money. Um, nothing to be sad about. Um, and so yeah, I still think it's a decent buy, but I don't think the potential growth is still there on his card. Um, Seku Dumbia. Um, so far, I've been right. It's been spiking up. It's up now for his base PSA tens to almost one twenty. I don't blame you, however, if you wanted to sell out of his cards. Um, I do think he's a very long-term buy, so I can definitely see this falling. Personally, I have a couple of my uh, raw prisms of his. I'm selling them um, as much as I want to get them graded. Um, I'm going to let the market kind of do its thing. Uh, I'm going to cash in now and expect it to fall back down later, and then I'll uh, get back in later. But for right now, I wouldn't mind selling it if I were you guys. Last one of the buys, um, Cam Reddish. So far, it's uh, inconclusive. Um, I don't think it's fair to say yes or no. Um, had you bought it when I told you to, you've lost five, ten bucks, you know, somewhere in that range. But um, you know, it, it's inconclusive. I, I still think he's a good buy. He's still on an upward trajectory, although it's slight. I still think he's a good player. 
um, a lot of potential. It's just how bad does he want it? So um, that's the buys. That's the cards I told you to buy last week. Um, I'll do a total recap at the end of you know how many right, inconclusive, and wrong, like a final total. But we'll move on to the cells, and the cells are definitely harder for me to project because of um, really the market's hot. So anytime it, it's it's hard for me to say, oh, sell you know player A. And then all of a sudden, they drop a 50 in a game, and now everyone thinks of the greatest thing. Or LeBron says, Talon Horton Tucker is the next big thing. Or Bull Bull has a great scrimmage. I, I can't project these things, so selling is a little harder. But at the same time, I, I think I still did pretty well. Um, John Morant was my first one. I told you to sell. And if you sold, you done very well. You, you sold it about the peak, and the bottom is falling out. Um so far well we'll see if it really breaks through but uh, his base PSA on how had I to had you sold it when I told you to you know you saved about 50 bucks um, face so not bad at all um, so I think I was right on that one I'll give that one to me uh, Colin Sexton I said to sell him uh, and I was incorrect I was wrong I uh, I said 300 bucks I don't think he goes past 300 and it ends up that I was uh, incorrect. It's now almost, it's like 320-ish. Um, I mean, I would call it inconclusive, but whatever. You know, it's it's wrong. Um, I guess 350 maybe is the highest he goes. I, I just don't see it. I mean, I love the Cavs. I love Colin Sexton. He's my favorite player on 2K especially. But no, I mean, it's still a sell for me. I'll stand by that one. Um, Tyler Hero. I was right about this one. Um, he was about $300 when I told you guys to sell. Now he's dropped below $250. Um, he's almost to the buy range once he gets to about $200 in my opinion. But for me, I'm not touching him. I told, I, t I tell you guys this all the time. Um, he's not a superstar player. So why are we buying into him? What? It, there's way better cards to make money on. I think last year for the Heat was kind of a fluke. There's no way they make the finals again this year. Um, they just don't have the guys yet. Unless they make a trade, then I take that back. But Next up, uh, Shea Gilgis. Um, I was worried about how high he can go. Similar to uh, Sexton. Um, and it's really inconclusive. Um, you know, it kind of dipped down there for a minute, but now it's back up. It's really had a bunch of up and downs. Uh, to me, it's inconclusive. He hasn't really moved up or down. He's really in that middle spot. I think he is where he's going to stay. Um for now until Shea can prove that he's that next level player um, and he's really in that same price point as this next guy um, the next one is Donovan Mitchell again um, Donovan Mitchell inconclusive I'm avoiding him still and the reason is it's not moving look at this card over the past three months the card has stayed between $300 and really 400 you know it kind of got above it but really three to four hundred dollars it's not moving um, the player he is is who he is you know there's nothing to him much it's still a sell for me I, I just don't like it um, the card really hasn't moved since I told you guys to sell it little up little down oh well um, next up Clay Thompson I was wrong on this one I thought we were headed down. I mean, it was at $600. I said, there's no way. You buy it in. We'll buy in when it's like 400 right? That's what I said. I said, it's like 400 bucks, 300 bucks, somewhere in that range. If it reaches there, we're buyers all day. It's now spiked up to $800. I'm still, they've given you a gift. The card gods have given you a gift. Sell at 800 Take your money now. Um, and these increased sales right here, you see where it's the last few days, it's six sales of his base PSA 10 from 2012 so it's you know kind of far back it doesn't have the insane pop count as like a Zion but it tells me there's a lot of sellers out there they're getting their money sell it now we still have all of this season all of the off season before we see him back again it'll be down um, I'm wrong for now I'm wrong for now but I'm, I'm still standing on this one too and the last one DeAndre Ayton um, it's inconclusive it's not moving. His base PSA 10 is still around $200, which is kind of crazy. Um, for me, it's still a sell. I think we're headed down, especially as the pop counts increase, and his play hasn't yet. Um, I think the day he becomes a top center is when this will spike up, but for now, I'm out, Chief. So overall, 
How did I do? How, if you listen to Inglorious P, how did you do in the market over the last week? Well, I was right about six of them. I was wrong about three of them. And so inconclusive were about five of them. There were five of them that were inconclusive. So for me, you know, I've got a two to one ratio, right? Um, inconclusive, you want to just see it as like it, not, nothing happened with your money. You just kind of put it there. Um, I was right about six, wrong about three. So I'm about a two to one ratio. I'm excited to see what happens next week with the ones I said buy or sell on as we gain more information on these players this season. Um, I'm excited to see what happens. But I wanted to be completely transparent with y'all. Thursdays are review days. Um, and so, yeah, I think maybe Fridays will just be like information days or I'll see what kind of content I can come up with. But I appreciate y'all watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know below what you guys think. Please use my referral code to Starstock if you... Um, want to get on it it's a pretty interesting platform i think if you're actually looking to grade stuff i wouldn't buy from them everything seems overpriced on there i just don't see it compared to like ebay comps and facebook it seems overpriced but as far as the day trading aspect of it start to stock is very good um people can you can buy it flip it do your thing um just keep note that there's a five percent seller's fee um so they're definitely profiting huge on all the flipping on there so um yeah, I appreciate y'all watching and uh, have a good day. Peace.